Hey guys, the aim of this video is to show you how to apply the remainder theorem. So we have a polynomial f of x, which is divided by a linear factor of the form x minus a. It says that our remainder will be equal to f of a. So let's go through an example to clarify what this definition means. So over here we have our numerator, which is x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 5. We actually call this section over here our f of x. From our definition, this is the polynomial, and we're dividing by a linear factor of the form x minus a. So the denominator is our linear factor. So as you can see, our a in this case is 2. And if you were to work out this question using synthetic division or long division, you would find out that the remainder is equal to some number. And what this remainder theorem does is find this remainder straight away. So let's go ahead and apply the remainder theorem to our example over here. It says that our remainder will be equal to f of a. So our f of a is simply plugging 2 into our function. So we get 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared plus 2 minus 5. And if you work this out, it would be 8 minus by 8 plus 2 minus 5, which equals 2 negative 3. So if you were to work out this example using long division, you would get a remainder of negative 3. Okay guys, so over here I made a new example. In this case we have an x plus 2 as our linear factor. So we apply the same thing except it's slightly different over here. Instead of a negative, we have a plus. So what we can think of for this example is as x minus by negative 2. And now this negative 2 over here is our a. And we go through the same steps over here to solve this problem using the remainder theorem. So we actually have f of a equals to f of negative 2, which equals to negative 2 cubed minus 2 times negative 2 squared plus negative 2 minus 5. So this would be negative 8. This would be minus 2 times 4 is also negative 8 minus 2, minus 5. And if you work this out, it will be negative 23, which will be the remainder of this problem over here.